everyone are back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I am playing some Xenosaga episode 3. Oh, I can use this. Okay. Oh no, all the drugs I bought! <laughs> Lol. Poor lady. So I can use the blowy uppy connection gear. I just can't use traps. Um, where the fuck? This guy? This way? No. This way. There we go. <laughs> Boop. I don't know if that's the floor I'm actually supposed to go to, but it's the one I went to. <laughs> Fifth floor, acute neurosis special treatment area. Again, that's Shelly's voice actress. I swear. ID check at the guard station is required to proceed. Yeah, okay, Shelly. Special human beings have been gathered from various locations. To be honest, they haven't told us the details of the experiments. That's creepy. The staff here can't use a different person to go through here. Okay, so I can't? Is that what you're telling me? I... It's sealed. Okay, so I'm not supposed to go here. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm distracted by bunnies. She's doing some silly bunny stuff. That's a fire exit, I guess. Okay. Uh, which floor did I have to go to? Fourth floor? Or Preparations are underway for the connection experiment. Entry to this. Okay, so I can't go there. Fourth floor. Cool. My rabbit was messing around with some of her toys and it was loud. So if you heard a couple thump, like thump, thump, thump sounds, that's what it was. Yeah, okay, Shelly. Hold that up. Damn it. No connections. You aren't going to blah, 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 blah. Well, no? Check data? Sure. And his password is 5150. Acquired Suo Uzuki's memo. Okay. Was I supposed to do that? Private room, it's locked without a rent-a-scan by the owner. Okay. I I don't know if I was supposed to actually do that, but... <laughs> it was probably for something fun for later, I guess. If I need it, I can always look it up in my, uh, strategy guide. <laughs> What's up, bruh? It's it's Ms. Rahi. You two, what are you standing around for? It's Momo's Upload daddy. The test subjects' personal patterns to Central. What? You, you're key, Miss Rahi. It's fine. Didn't you hear me? I told you to upload the test subjects' personal patterns. Oh yes, sir. Let's see, the test subjects' personal data. Hurry. Yes, sir. Currently cleared through list 177, list 281, 15 left until upload is complete. I will, I will, you know, I do rag on Xi'an a lot, but she's competent in, the, in a, uh, like, situation like this. Were you just assigned here? Y yes, sir. I see. I'd heard I was getting new assistants. How's list 281? Yes, sir. List 281. This is a list of patients in the hospital. Is it done yet? Oh, l list 281, clear. Upload complete. <laughs> I immediately assumes that these are his new assistants, not um, even getting their, like, what IDs. What are these test subjects? This is the data from test subjects capable of linking with vessels of anima. We're going to control their fear and perform a Zohar connection experiment. Weren't you informed? No, I'm sorry. Chief, look! Vessels of Anima! Mm-hmm! The ones that are missing from their ES craft. Yes. Sort of. Why it's complicated. I have no idea. And what does he mean by linking people to Vessels of Anima? Look at this. It's the Zohar. Mm-hmm! You're right. Looking at this, it appears the Vessels of Anima serve as a mediator to approach the Zohar. 
I thought they were the power reactors for the ESs. Little column A, little column B. Actually, they're transmitters. No, more like translators. Their power is the byproduct of acting as mediators between people and the Zohar. And it's what is used to power the ES craft. Here, and what we were using was the finished product. But this data, I wonder why they needed to relay it through realians. He said something about controlling fear. Maybe that's related. Hmm. But realians can definitely feel fear. <laughs> Chief, look. <gasps> Mom's name. It's your mama. Why is she on the list of test subjects? You there. Yes, sir. Go fetch my assistant, Kevin Winnicott. I want to know for Bronia's condition. Kevin Winnicott? Are you surprised you saw him in the fucking church? <laughs> What's the matter? Hurry up. Oh, yes, sir. Again, this is what I mean by the fact that Shion remembers everything. So she remembers Fabronia. She remembers... I don't actually remember if she remembers Virgil or not. Um, but herself, Fabronia, and the church and some little things. She doesn't remember that she knew Kevin as a kid. But Kevin definitely remembered her. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, is it over here? Ooh, a thing! Patches that is currently sealed. Oh, we're probably gonna come here and get all this shit when this entire place goes tits up. We know it's gonna go tits up. Because of course it's gonna go tits up. Uh oh. I didn't do it. What is going on? This is the first I've ever heard of Kevin being here. Again, you literally saw him earlier. I wonder if it's just someone with the same name. Nope. This is the first I've heard of it, too. Kevin didn't tell me what he did before he joined Vector. Again. This one... It's a plot hole. I'm just gonna go with plot but hole. his Hilbert effect theory and his knowledge of Realian architecture makes sense if he was Professor Mizrahi's assistant. He dealt with you a lot as a kid. A lot as a kid. He was in your fucking dream. <laughs> How dare you barge in here without knocking? You. You're... Hmm. Have we met before? No. Um, are you Mr. Winnicott? Also the fact that he doesn't recognize them from the church from earlier on. <laughs> what? Is my name that unusual? I'm just gonna go with it's Clark Kent syndrome. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. Um, Professor Mizrahi is calling you. He wants you to report on Fibronia's condition. Oh, it's already that time? Understood. I'll get things ready. Tell him I'll be right up. <gasps> Cosmos is on the screen there! That boy is Kevin? His face looks similar, but he doesn't have the same temperament. Yeah, I mean, the temperament he had as an adult, let's be completely honest, is the same. He's just better at hiding it. Yes, but I'm pretty sure it's him. That's Kevin. So he was involved with you, Tick. Still is. Chief! Chief! What? Cosmos. Look at this! Outline of the managing OS for a weapon system to combat the Gnosis phenomenon. The effectiveness of a human modeled weapon for Gnosis combat? He even had Cosmos's, um, that's Cosmos's episode one outfit, I think. Yeah, so he already had that done. Basic theory of a strategically multiple operation system that obeys the rules of order? It's Cosmos. Hey, this is Cosmos's basic theory. It sure is. He must have already been working on the basic design back then. It really is, Kevin. Chief, what are you doing? What else? Taking a backup. Again, they, like, Chion doesn't think before she acts. <laughs> Here? That's crazy! I know it's risky. But with this, we may be able to reboot Cosmos. Sorry, could you distract him until I'm done? Please? Poor Please Alan. <laughs> Poor Alan. <laughs> Poor 
Alan. Still here? Oh, um, <laughs> actually, there's something I'd like to ask you. What? The connection experiment is about to begin. Can't you wait until later? It won't take long. It's about the effectiveness of mental stabilization in regards to realities. Wow, like, okay, I, I made the joke about Alan not being a good spy, but he's a better one than Shion being able to pull shit like this out of his ass. <laughs> Chief, please make it quick. I can't keep him much longer. Would you stop bothering me? I'm in a hurry. Please leave my room at once. Also the fact that Kevin didn't notice what Shion was doing. <laughs> Failed to spot oh, check. Um, we're sorry for disturbing you. Come on, Alan. Let's go. What? Oh, right. That seems like we fooled them. I don't think Dad's on this floor. Okay. Let's turn to Professor Mizrahi for now. Sure. <laughs> oh, this fucking game, man. Hey, Mizrahi. They said today's experiment goes well. Oh, it's you. Where's Monacott? He said he'll be here soon. I see, thanks. If you would, please deliver that data to the test subject management wing on the fifth floor. I... So now we get to go to the fifth floor, which is also where they keep the test subjects. Like Xion's mama. Which floor would you like to go to? Fifth floor. This is gonna be fine. <laughs> this is gonna be fine. <laughs> Beings I'm gathered. Oh, I already talked to him. Hey, bro. I'm a special instructor. You need the staff here. Can you get permission to go through here? Uh. Oh, okay. It's just gonna let me through now. What is it? I got stuff. Um, the door won't open. Of course not. The area past here is restricted. You can't enter without permission. Well, here's my permission. We were told to deliver this data to the test subject management wing. ID, please. <laughs> ID, <Yeah>. please. <laughs> Confirmed. I'll release the lock. Hurry through. How good are Shion's hacking skills then? <laughs> like, they, she didn't have to hack into a database or anything to get her information put in there? Vessels of anima. What is it now? What's that image? It's the vessels of anima. Duh. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's that display showing? That's the surveillance camera for the isolated underground research wing. What about it? Oh, nothing. It just caught my eye, that's all. That place isn't something you need to worry about. Just get back to your post. <laughs> They're being so suspicious. They would fail at corporate espionage. I'm sorry. Chief, that was a vessel of anima. This is not the place to be speaking, Alan. They could probably hear you. Yes, there's no mistaking it. They're conducting experiments here to connect vessels of anima and the Zohar. We already knew that from the last cutscene. <laughs> Area 13. So I thought it was falling into a dangerous... Uh, they fall into a dangerous state during the connection experiments. Moved through the... Through the area 13 passageway to the acute neurosis patient facility. Like her mama. So this room. It's a box. I want the box. Can I have the box? I want the box. I guess I'll get the box later. Because <laughs> I can't get the box right now. E box. Didn't really give me anything useful though. I wonder if something is wrong. Rodia doesn't seem well today. Well, maybe because she got her organs ripped out. But I'm sure it's fine. What's in here? Nope. Nothing of importance. Is it down here? Excuse us. 
We've brought the data. It's her mama! Uh, set it down there. D Dad? <laughs> Again, things you probably shouldn't say out loud. What's the status of the link with Fibronia? Values on the test subject side aren't stable. Fibronia probably hasn't fully recovered yet. Some amount of stress is acceptable. We'll continue the experiment. Poor Fibronia. <gasps> Mom! You there. Forward the analysis data log. I want to confirm the error in sequence 306. What is this? Mom is being used in an experiment? I, Mom is being used in an experiment? God, Shion, you're an idiot. <sighs> What's wrong? Hurry up and confirm the data. Isn't she a member of your family? Hmm? What kind of experiment is this? God damn it, Shion. How can you use a member of your family as a test subject? She's chief! This is not the place! This is not the time and place! I'm talking about the atrocity of using a member of your own family as a test subject. And not just her. How many others have you people done this to? But damn it, Shion. <laughs> They're here because it's necessary. That's all there is to it. How is it necessary? Have you even studied this personal data? It's clear that they're suffering subconsciously. How can you use the sick and injured like this? Nonsense. That's just an issue with the numbers. You merely see what you want to see. She doesn't feel anything. She doesn't say anything. This is nothing more than peripheral nerve reflexes. That's what you're telling you're yourself, bro. You're distorting the truth to rationalize what you're doing. What? You're the one who's distorting things. To begin with, since when does a mere staff member like you have the right to criticize this project? Know your place. Again, she's so bad at this spy thing. <sighs> Shion! Baby Daddy? Shion. How did she get in here? <laughs> huh? Shion, how many times do I have to tell you you need permission to come here? See, like, you need permission to come here. How did she get through the secure door? You know, the one that you can't actually enter without permission? <laughs> oh, but I'm worried about mom's sickness. Today isn't a visitation day. You know that. Now hurry home. Leave mom to us. Does she have nobody supervising her at this age? But... Shion. I'll escort her out. You? Yes. I'm sorry for how I acted. I'm fatigued and a little emotional right now. And not the brightest. Hmm. I see. Yes. Please take care of her. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> Two Shions. Come on, Shion. Let's go home. I'm sure your mom will get better soon. See all these doctors with her? Yeah. yeah. Oh, poor baby Shion. I feel sorry for baby Shion. I do not feel sorry for adult Shion. <laughs> Um, you're she looks like an angel in that brightness. Right? See, she can even remember exactly what block of the city that her house is in, but she didn't remember that she was friends with- that she knew Kevin as a kid. <laughs> What's wrong? I don't want to go home yet. And I say that as somebody who has childhood amnesia. <laughs> but your dad's gonna be busy with work until late. The soldier. Soldier? I want to visit the hurt soldier. Oh, you want to go to the church? Yeah, I'm going to bring him flowers. Okay, baby Shion is cute. <laughs> I see. Okay, let's go. Follow me. There's flowers in the garden outside. I might just go pick them without asking. Ah, <laughs> uh, Shion. Baby Shion is adorable. Adult Shion can go die in a fire. <laughs> Stop, bruh. Pull it up. <laughs> I don't need to do it anyway. Stop, bruh. You know, I don't think about it. It's a really loud sound that plays when it opens the doors. <laughs> Could save, not gonna save. I know, it goes against all, it goes against my nature to not do so, but what else? Oh, 
bunch of flowers. Here. They're pretty. Did you grow these yourself? Yes. Yeah, Beth <laughs> gave me seeds. You know what? I'm gonna grow tons and tons more flowers and make Mom happy. Yes, I'm sure she'll like that. Now, shall we bring some flowers to the soldier? Yeah! Sure. Hi, He's Kevin. Are off at your job and playing babysitter now? Good God, Kevin. <laughs> Mr. Winnicott, this is part of my job. Oh, excuse me. Still, I'm surprised to see people leisurely planting gardens in the middle of a war. It's at times like this when we need them the most. Is there something wrong with engaging in productive activity to counter the unnatural destruction of war? Placing one against another and fighting is a defining aspect of human beings. Resisting it is unnatural. <laughs> Kevin, you're an asshole. <laughs> Your name is Kevin Winnicott, correct? You're a strange woman. Is my name that unusual? For reasons. <laughs> Are you really Kevin? God, she's so suspicious. Come on, let's go! Oh, right. Let's go to the church. Excuse us. Dumbass. <laughs> she should have said that. Just excuse us, dumbass. Shut up, Kevin. Nobody likes you. Not as good as Alan. Alan is a far superior man. Still too good for Xion, though. That's the wrong way. Xion, or the right wait. way. Where are you going? This is a shark. You think Xion would remember that? Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm. Come on. Right. I wonder if because of the fact that Xion's running around on her own most of this time, I am not controlling this. Um, I wonder if Suo Uzuki has like a tracking chip inside Shion so he can track her down. Because <laughs> again, she's a little kid. Generally should be supervised. But you should stay in bed for a while. Also, what the fuck is Jin doing in our church? <laughs> like I needed your help. Who the hell are you people? Don't worry about it. You aren't you, Tick, and you aren't Federation. But you act damn suspicious for mere civilians. Just a scotch. <sighs> I told you you need to get some rest. We can't reveal who we are for various reasons, but we aren't your enemy. Well, sort of. There's no need for you to cause yourself unnecessary stress. Xion? What? Y yeah. I brought Xion. Also changed out of her uniform. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, what brings you here? Um... What? <laughs> so shocked. <laughs> Flowers? For me? Yeah, they bloomed real pretty. It's so you'll get well. What? You've got to be kidding. I don't need them. <laughs> There's no reason to be an asshole to a little kid, dude. <laughs> you won't take them? Uh, uh, there he goes. Yep. <laughs> thanks. Baby Shion is adorable. You can't say no to her. You're welcome. I hope you get better soon. Damn it. This isn't me. Sure about that? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm sorry. It's just you look so different from when we first met. Well, excuse me for looking silly holding some flowers. <laughs> Poor Virgil. You look good with them. Damn it. Poor Virgil. Huh? Sounds like you're having fun. Deb! Fibronia. I'm glad you recovered. Well, he's getting there. <laughs> Don't come any closer to me, Reallian. Virgil? That's a Utic Reallian. Do you know how many of my comrades have died because of them? Well, now some of her organs are inside you, so shut up. <laughs> Virgil, stop it. She saved your life. I didn't ask for that. It makes me sick, thinking I've got a part of you in me. Freezing. If I could move right now, I'd kill myself. Virgil, that's enough! This is none of your business. I mean, please she's not wrong. Such sad things. Everyone worked so hard to save your life. Please don't speak so lightly about throwing it away. What would a Realian know about the value of human life? It's true that I'm a Realian. 
We were created to serve human beings. My sisters are going through painful experiments for that purpose. Yeah, they're getting their limbs taken off. But I feel no hatred for human beings. Because it is the proof that we exist. What? <laughs> Give me a break. A proof you exist? That's just how you've been programmed. It's fine if you feel that way. But my feelings right now are more than just a program. Huh? Your feelings? I want you to live. I'm starting to feel sick. I'm gonna sleep. Virgil's an asshole. He, he's more of an understandable asshole than the other ones, though. We would never want people to suffer. I know. We'll come to understand each other someday. Yeah. You know, when Shion kills her siblings in the second game. <laughs> Let's pray now, Shion. Ugh. What are you going to pray for, Feb? For my dear sisters. Please grant them a wonderful future. I wonder if Shion... I see. Will I get to play with Cecily and Kath again? <laughs> Never again. Yes. They're both looking forward to seeing you again. No, they're getting delimbed currently and attached to the Zohar permanently. I'm sort of curious. If young Shion for mom to get better soon. is voice acted by the same and person who voice acts adult Shion. Hold on. This is gonna bug me. That's a good idea. Let's pray together. No. Shion, let's go. Jin. Poor Shion. <laughs> They're all gonna die soon. Okay. Pulled up the IMDB page. Oh. Well, shit. The same version person who voice acts Cosmos voice acts Telos. I never Losing knew that because they sound reality. completely this different. Is an ingenious plan. A Trojan horse planted yep, by the Yep, there's Selsling Cap right there. It's an amusing scenario, though not a particularly flashy one. It was Winnicott's idea to make Mizrahi into a scapegoat. He's quite the tactician for his age. Rude. Did you hear that the transport carrying calibrated realians was attacked by the Federation? No, we just lost a few realian units. It won't affect me. Oh shit, I didn't mean Although to skip I that. Oops. Oh, huh. I didn't see... I didn't see a separate voice actor listed for it, so I guess Young Shion is voice acted by the same person. God, I, that's, that would suck. Just look at Cecil and... That would suck. In so many ways. I mean, I know they can't feel it. Because, I mean, they sort of can't feel it. They're in, like, that weird... Uh, encephalon... Their brains are in, like, that weird encephalon dimension that we saw in, I think, the second game? But... So the second of the, the first. Details of I their think it's descent second. operation. We'll be able to buy time until our VIPs are able to retreat. Good. So have you deciphered the Y data? No. I've found some file fragments. But he won't tell us a thing about it. I've got Winnicott trying to get some information from him. But who knows how it'll go. And now Sellers is with the Federation working with Dimitri or yeah, that's sus. <laughs> as long as the Zohar activation succeeds, we can deal with the rest later. Well, the succeeds. Plan? We'll pick you and the others up along with the Zohar. I won't hold my breath. If it comes down to it, I can lift the whole song of Nephilim into space. Okay. <laughs> save the game? Well, they obviously fail um, to get the Zohar because the entire main plot of Xenosaga Episode 2 was going to Milsha to get the Zohar. So they fail, but... Uh, okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. Yeah, it's just lots of cutscenes. Milsha has a lot of cutscenes, but once the cutscenes are over, the I think the dungeon is pretty lengthy, but... My name is Miss Carla Tanager and I have been playing some Xenosaga episode 3. I'll see you all in the next video.